Back on June 26, a little developmental stage biotech company called Series Therapeutics came public with a bang. The IPO price is $18. The stock nearly tripled on its first day. It traded up to $51.40. A few days later, I told you that, uh, that Series, which is symbol MCRB, more on that in a second for you, home gamers, seemed like it would be real volatile. And sure enough, the stock's been a roller coaster, but generally it's come down, trading to $40 as of today. So is Series pulled back to a point where it's safe to speculate on it? I have to say speculate because these are difficult kind of stocks. It's not Bristol Myers. Here's a company that's focused on developing drugs to treat diseases caused by di- dysbiosis, which is the technical term for when the trillions of bacteria that live in your body somehow become imbalanced. You've got a whole ecosystem of various different types of bacteria living right inside of you, especially your digestive tract. And this ecosystem is essential to your health. But when it gets out of balance, you can become very sick. Series is all about developing combinations of microbes that will make your bacterial ecosystem healthy again. It'll cure you. The company's lead drug is a single-dose pill that prevents recurrent CVI, an inflammation of the large intestine that's the leading cause of hospital-acquired infections in the U.S., killing 29,000 Americans a year. The current treatment for CVI is antibiotics, but those drugs disrupt the healthy bacteria in your gut, making it likely you'll get infected all over again. That's where Ceres comes in. They develop a way to prevent this disease from recurring by getting your gut bacteria back into a healthy equilibrium. This therapy could be a very big deal, but still only in phase two trials. We won't get the results of those until the middle of next year. Ceres has other products and pipelines that are along similar lines, very big, but also early stage development. This is an intriguing story, but it's also a high risk one because there aren't many catalysts in the company won't have any drugs on the market maybe for years. The question is, has the stock come down to a level where the risk reward is attractive? Let's take a closer look with Dr. Roger Palmer. He's the chairman President and CEO of Series Therapeutics to learn more about his company and his prospects. Dr. Palmer, it's welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good seeing you, Thank Jim. you. Thanks for inviting but, me. You know, I think it's fair to say I want people who are, because we have a lot of home gamers watch, that this is not something that's necessarily going to be approved tomorrow. But at the same time, the FDA has blessed what you're doing in a very positive way already. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jim. First, thanks for having me on. Most importantly, though, that we're in series are developing a whole new class of drugs, as you said. No one has done this before. We're using bacteria as therapy. Not molecules, not atoms, but bacteria. Because of that, we're interdicting, we're affecting your microbiome. That is not only important, as you said, for health, but it's actually important for your life. It's like an organ that they forgot to teach me about in medical school. They didn't forget, it's that new. You have to think of it that way, it's that important. And when an organ gets out of balance, it causes disease. C. difficile, as you mentioned, especially recurrent, is the first drug type that we're going into and we are able to affect this in a meaningful way. The reason the FDA gave us what is called breakthrough status designation is that this is a breakthrough drug for a huge unmet medical need. C. diff is the largest hospital-acquired infection in the United States, 800,000 people each year in the U.S. alone, and 30,000 die. When we treated these patients with our drug, with our first Mm -hmm. microbiome drug, what we expect to be the first microbiome drug, we cured 97% of patients when standard of care cures maybe 20%. Well, well, let me ask you, doctor. When I hear that, I understand breakthrough designation, but we're talking about uh, U.S. sales uh, by 2022 of 280 million, whatever. Uh, uh, Why doesn't the government just say, you know what, this is so good, we're going to let them just give it now? So I think the important point is when you develop a drug, and as you know, Jim, I've developed with great teams eight drugs so far with approvals in infectious disease. You have to be careful that you also don't have a safety signal. I'm happy to say in the first group of patients, we had no safety signals. We're going to get this drug as rapidly but as safely as possible to patients, and the FDA is our good partner now with this huge breakthrough designation. Okay, uh, another even bigger market, uh, this is SCR 287, ulcerative colitis. I mean, we're talking about a gigantic multi-billion dollar market. Too soon to talk about? Not at all. One of the things that we saw is that we're able to develop a drug so rapidly compared to small molecules because of the safety and the way these are developed that we have this drug, SEER-287, for ulcerative colitis, inflammatory bowel disease. We expect it to be in patients this year. This year? We expect it this year. We thought of it last year. We saw clinical data, which gives us ideas that this has a high probability of success. 
this is why series is so, gets me so excited. This of is course. what gets me out of bed at, in the morning because we're able to not only treat infectious diseases, but chronic diseases that are not amenable to other therapies. Let me ask you, I mean, look, I've got this off the shelf stuff. This is a probiotic thing. I mean, it, it always claims it has 50 billion micro, whatever. It, 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 is there something I could take that would prevent something like ulcerative colitis? If there is, it's going to come out of a com company such as Ceres. Right. We understand the microbiome, as you said, very rightly, as an ecosystem, like a forest or a coral reef. One bacteria not just doesn't work, it can't work. Now, let me show you. One of the things that's different is we don't just do cool science. We put a pill on the table. This is what I think makes Ceres special as a biopharma. That is the first we expect microbiome drug. That has one times 10 to the eighth bacteria oh, and spore on. form in there, and you take four of them once, and that's how we cured 97% of people with CDI, with C. diff infection. Sir, you are doing amazing things. I want to emphasize again, this is not the Bristol-Myers lily. This is something you can put away, and if it works, it's going to work really huge. That's Dr. Roger Pomeranz. He's the chairman, president, and CEO of Series Therapeutics. Huge unmet needs right on the table. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.